Our Lord Jesus was there and talking to me. He showed me the things to come. I saw some natural disasters just like the recent things this year since earth, uh, such as earthquakes, hurricanes, you know, tsunamis, uh, volcanoes erupting, just the entire earth in this vision was just freaking out. And the Lord Jesus showed me a great plague, famine that sweeped the world. Everyone just drops like flies and I'm serious about this people. There was no way. People were trying to get vaccinations for this. There was no way to save your life. You could not be vaccinated. If God wanted you to die from this plague, you were going to die. If it was your time to leave, it was your time to leave. There's no, Christians, there's no reason to be running around scared and trying to wait in line and get vaccinations. Last World War, every country was in on it. I saw North Korea nuke America. And it really bothered me. Uh, for I never thought, I really, honestly, truly, I wrote this down because after I had this vision, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget any of it. But the truth was, I never really thought that North Korea could do that to us. I really thought that America was safe here. But when I saw that vision that Jesus, Yeshua, showed me, I realized that my thoughts were wrong. Cities, big ones in America, bombed and completely wiped out. Okay? The towns were the ones who made it. The big cities looked lost. Christ stands up and offers this great peace. He convinced the leaders in the world to a truth. He was the great world leader, God to all on earth. God to all. Are you listening, people? All but the select few who followed the real God, Yahweh, and the Lord Jesus, Yeshua. All right. Some of us were jailed and murdered because we would not worship the Antichrist. Maitreya is the Antichrist. His name is Maitreya. That is what he's being called by his followers. Um, and he convinced all the world leaders that he was the world leader, that he, was, that he could bring world peace. He was the one who got the world to stop fighting and to have peace. that I saw a man standing up and being held as the God. They worshiped this Antichrist. They didn't realize he was the Antichrist. There was only one religion formed and everyone had to worship this fake God. He would appear out of thin air to people and perform miracles, signs, and wonders. The things we know God to do, the things we know the Lord Jesus could do, and still can do. This started here in America and it became martial law. I saw while people were still worshiping, they still worship the false god day and night. They're worshiping the Antichrist day and night.
who were Christians. I saw Christian leaders. I'm talking about politicians, TV pastors, evangelists, prophets, uh, any of the men you can think of that are God, that you think are godly men, and the women, some of the women too, that are leaders that are on television that are doing things, people that are on TV, people that write books, um, just all different, you know, people that are pretty famous that we all have heard of. In other words. But there's politicians included in this, remember that, who you know as Christians are deceived by the Antichrist. They worshipped this Antichrist. They didn't realize he was the Antichrist. I went outside and I was standing by the ocean. I saw this huge angel. He looked bigger than all the mountains and all the man-made buildings. Everything that we've made, that mankind has made, is not even close to as big as this angel that I'm talking about. And this angel looked like a man. It looked like a guy. It did not look female. He was standing in the ocean. I heard loud trumpets being blown. And then everything shook. The sound shook the earth. And it was so loud, it, it hurt your ears. It was almost, it struck fear in your heart when you heard these trumpets. It was like a trumpet of war just being blown, but it was louder than anything mankind can make. Louder than any person can actually do. So, I know I heard the angels blowing the trumpet, not a person. And like those people that were worshipping the Antichrist, Maitreya, they were laying on what looked like yoga mats, kind of like, it's kind of like yoga mats or blankets, and they were getting on their knees, and they were bowing down to the ground as far as they could go, and they kept going up and down like this, and they were chanting, and they were um, meditating, and they were just basically worshiping him day and night, and he had this huge statue that they made for him. sun fell out of the sky. It just disappeared. I mean, it was daytime in the vision that I saw, and then boom, it was darker than night. Alright? Then I saw the moon turn to blood. It looked blood red. It looked like it turned to blood. It was darker than, than it's ever been. And so everything was pitch black. The day was dark, and darker than night. So and I saw mountains. They looked like they were just crumbling away. They looked like they were falling down. I mean, it was like God just shook the earth, basically, and everything just started crumbling. And He's showing that He's the real God, not this Antichrist that everybody was worshiping. Okay? He was furious. And the people were scared out of their wits. Everyone was scared. Everyone was scared. Everybody was running and trying to go hide. Just like in Matthew 24, when it talks about how they were trying to hide themselves. They were trying to hide themselves. They were literally trying to run away from their creator. All of creation was running away. Yeshua takes us back, and I saw it. I saw the actual rapture. It was the most joyful thing I've ever saw, and I was so happy. I thought I was going to go home, to tell you the truth. I just wanted to go. I was like, let's go. I'm ready. 